just go catch some fish today. All right, so the first thing you do, right, you go see what the surf looks like. We are on a northwest wind pattern pretty consistently. You know, it's been switching northeast occasionally. Seas have been more or less pretty friendly. If the surf kicks up, it's only for a day or two, and then it kind of lays back down. So on a day like this, right, so I, I kind of plan it two different ways. One, one way, if the surf was obviously of any significant size, I go light mode, right? So I don't pack an ice bag, take minimal gear. Day like today, yeah, we could bring all the gadgets into the ocean, all the trinkets. Water's still about 65 to 70, even though the air temps this morning are about 45. You don't get too many days like this every year. You get a couple, but not too many. Oh yeah. We can always use a toy shovel. I don't like seeing garbage on the Carolina beaches, man. These beaches are so beautiful and pristine versus where I came from. Every time I see something laying around, I pick it up. You don't see much trash on the beaches here, so every time I do see it, I'm like, oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> back home in Great, anyway, uh, maybe we'll keep something today. Uh, I kept a gray trout last week, so uh, it's cold, but man, <laughs> it is cold out. Okay, this is our bait for drum and sheep's head. Got ourselves a dozen blue crabs in there. Um, smaller variety, 11 bucks. What you gotta do, you need to put your blue crabs in an onion sack, because then it looks sketchy. Well, it's also a good way to keep them, but <coughs> if you like being sketchy, everyone wants to know what's in the onion sack. So yeah, we'll put their, our crabs in that onion sack, and we got a dozen of those, and we got everything else we need right here. All right, here's how we're gonna do this. Uh, we got an x wrap 10 behind us, a Yozuri deep diver on the other. The water's not that clean, that's not good. But we're gonna troll these two. Let's see what we find. Yeah, it's pretty shitty a little bit off the beach. That's where we gotta go. There's nothing on the beach right now. The water's not too clean, but it's not too bad. Another shit day, huh? One on on the jig. There it is. There it is. Didn't take me too long. Hopefully a sign of things to come. All right, Mr. Redfish, we picked up these new lip grippers for you. Oh, slipped. Piece of shit. Water's pretty cool, so off they go. All right, so that might be a couple reds over there. See that? Messing with these downscan features. 
the only thing that sucks right now is my drift is too quick, right? So I can't get a second to really make sure I'm on the right stuff because I'm not on not on anchor. I'm drifting. Him, guys, come over. Got a second one on already. Almost. Dude, I'll tell you what. Reds versus stripers, it's not even close. It's not even close. Sean. No, wrong stuff. I think I got I got prupta. A little squatig. I think I got a squatig. Uh, great trot. Amazed how big of a bait those things hit sometimes. Anything doing out there? Yeah, I got a red. Nice. 30, 34, 35. Nice. Jigging or bait? Bait. You want a couple? <laughs> yeah, come over. <laughs> this one's dead, but he might be okay. If he smells, he sucks, so. Toss, he's still got his claws on. Hang on. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Before you go away, you want me to show you how to cut them? Alright. She cut all the little legs off. Toss, right? These cause drag in the water column, so I don't like them. Alright, so. Now, what you can do from here, if you think there's drum around, I'd go half, but you can also quarter. Okay. And when you're hooking them, right? Hook this joint sockets. Okay, socket yeah. to socket. Yeah, because that's the best place to secure them. Okay. It's that simple. You need any crabs, Matt? Adam? No, what you got? Thank you, yeah. See, the diff main difference between like doing this for striper and reds, striper are always on the same spot every single time. Oh, really? There's like a certain rip where like, like that first piece, I mean, like they don't really roam, not like the reds. The reds really roam around a lot more. Real beautiful now. It's just a shame the ocean's kind of a, you know, a little on the browner side. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Things are getting very beautiful out. All right, so definitely things just improved substantially condition-wise. In the last, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. And now we're just jigging. See what we're jigging on? See that little rock pile thing in the jig? Let's knock out another species. So we got weak fish. We got redfish, 
Let's get a sheep's head or a black drum, I think. Next, 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 next category. Black drum, big one, huh? Bull. Black drum, big one. Black drum, huh? On the crabs. Probably about you know, 10 15 pounds, probably. Nice. Let's see if we get another one. It was a pretty nice one, actually. Might be a sheep's head. Yeah, I think that's a red. <laughs> That's on the one on spawn of sweet bear jig. There's a quarter blue crab there. It's probably about a nice solid 32 inch or something around there. Oh, come on, man. I can't believe I dropped them. That's something good. Bust out your crabs, boys. I think that's a bit. Another drum. Bottom over there again. What's that? Yeah, man. Peace out, Brecca drum. That'll be the perfect frame. You hung up, me, me, me hooking fish. <laughs> Pretty sure I had a, nu a drum nudge it. I almost had the frame. That magic toe tog touch. Another big one. Another Humpty Dumpty right there, huh? Bottom sweepers. Nice, real nice.
Nice. Quarter blue crab. I think he's good to go right away. This one's got a nice color scheme on him. We're definitely doing a good job of chumming him now, probably. <laughs> By now. What's floating? Gray trout? Is that a puffer fish? No. Let me see. What was you went down? Kind of curious what it is. Oh, maybe a ling? Uh, what's it called? A hake? Squirrel hake? Whatever they call them? Yeah, it's a hake. Yeah, that's a ling. They call them ling. You ever see one, Andrew? What is it? Uh, hake. What's that? Yeah. No, he ain't, he ain't kicking. No. <laughs> nah. Set him up. Set him down. He used to, he used to call him pus, pus bags. Yeah, no, he's been... He's shark food. Fine, trunk. Bye, Mark. See you guys. Later, Mark. <laughs> Later, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Mine ain't a toad. Mine's a red. Red? A little one. Is that a red or a croaker? It's a big croaker, dude. Damn. Up, Citation croaker. Another nice one, huh? Jesus. <laughs> oh, black backwards sleigh ride. Yeah, we just dropped that croaker right up there. <laughs> Pinfish, whatever you got. Always come with blue crabs. It's the moral of this story. That's a nice one. It's a real big one. <laughs> you saying you want me to drop the crap next to you now? picture for the day. Playing his drum song. Oh god, he took the lip gripper. No! Here we go. <laughs> Gotta start tethering. It's a brand new one. It's a good thing if he, he swims to the bottom the minute he bumps it, he's gonna open that lip gripper right up. Some Guggen shit right there. There he goes. Now he's going nuts. The water's cold though. He shouldn't have any problem. They don't have any. I noticed as soon as this water dropped below 70, they're fine now. This is the identical tactics for tow tog fishing. It's the presentation you want. One socket out the other. Alright, we'll 
keep one black drum sandwich. Black drum sandwich. I think he makes it. I think he makes it. Just give me the drum shakes. We gotta be 14, right, Andrew? Hmm? Yeah, we got 17. And a sandwich. One sandwich. All right, that was a pretty good day overall. Um, bunch of reds, bunch of black drum. Um, I like this version of togging better. <laughs> fish fight a lot harder that's for sure literally to the T all I did was the same strategy that we use for tow tug right that I've how I fish for tog or blackfish light spinning outfits right there's links in the video's description uh, Shimano Stratic 15 pound braid on there these are the jigs I'm pretty pretty confident in so those bottom sweeper jigs great for drum great for sheep's head Great for tow tug. And the other setup, got the dark matter, medium heavy rod. Uh, Tsunami Shield 3000, there's 15 pound braid on it. This type of fishing is very enjoyable. Two fish on jigs, um, use a three quarter ounce VMC uh, swim bait hook jig. My shad on it, bled and dispatched this guy. All right, and that's the size of a black drum. I actually like the black drum. I think I like them better than the red fish. They're both real good though, don't get me wrong. I think the black drum has a little bit more of a crabbier taste to it, which is opposite of what you think because people like red fish more than black drum, but you know, they're both good. Can't, I'm not, not choosy which one I like better. In case you did not know, a black drum this size is a very, very good eating fish. Great pan fish, great to fry, uh, baked, you name it. The other thing why I prefer the smaller black drum, there's no worms, zero. Um, most of them don't have worms, occasionally they might. Piece of cake, good eats, simple, fresh, tasty, the black drum, underrated. We're in a little bit of a rush, we're running late for something, as usual. Uh, in my 20s, I was always punctual. I was always places early, never late, man. Always on time. Now am I getting, you know, as I'm getting, got into my late 20s, late, 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 late. late. Always late to things now. Maybe that was me being a train engineer that changed that. I don't know what that, a big change in my life that my time management skills got much worse. After I started working for the government, I never recovered. My, my time management used to be great. Now, forget about it. Fugazi. So we are going to prepare our black drum in a lemon butter sauce. I'm going to flour it up, put a little bit of spice on it, and fry it up. We have our local North Carolina shrimp, $10 a pound. Local, non-Chinese, good quality, absolutely delicious shrimp for 10 bucks a pound. Next year, what I really want to do, I want to go catch shrimp on my own. I really want to give it a try, and I know I can do some oyster trips very soon. So we're going to steam these. This is going to get fried. Both are going to cover in a lemon butter sauce. Simple stuff. We're going to heat up some lemon juice, reduce it. Got about a half cup here. We got a shallot, some parsley, a couple dabs of butter, salt, pepper, Dijon mustard. And if I do screw up the thickness of this sauce a little bit, we'll add a little cornstarch to thicken it. Easy stuff. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, and I'm always a sucker for fresh guacamole. Now, I could have thickened it with more cornstarch. It didn't go too crazy uh, thickening it, honestly. All right, so every now and then somebody's gonna say, black drum doesn't taste good. A 15 to 20 inch black drum, very good eating fish. I'd compare it to toe tog or blackfish, which I used to love. Mm. Oh man, that's good. 
I mean, the jig bite, I could have stuck it out and caught more reds jigging, but the crab bite was so dang good. Every time I'm going fishing, I'm going togging in my head. And it's, you know, instead of catching a little 18 to 20 inch fish on a jig, I never caught that many big tog. Um, I'm, you know, I'm delighted to catch black drum and, you know, 25 pound plus redfish which are awesome and insane fighters. That being said, I hope you enjoy. Great fishing, great food. Oh man. Um, let's get back at it tomorrow. We're gonna rest up. I don't know when you're gonna see this video. It might take a while for me to upload it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. We will catch up with you very soon. There's a recipe in the description too. Lemon butter is pretty easy. I think that was the first like adult meal I learned out of college was the lemon butter chicken recipe. So, but it works great with drum and fish and shrimp and all that stuff. It's pretty universal. Can be a little bland, but spice it up how you like. Okie doke, folks. I will catch up with you guys very soon. Hope you enjoyed.